Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Mage the Ascension the Victorian Age here on Dork Tales. I'm your storyteller Kelly. How are you seeing him? And folks, I'm excited to be here for another episode of Mage the Ascension the Victorian Age. Um, if you've been joining us so far, you know that the doves are in a bit of a, uh, a swashbuckling pickle. Uh, and uh, we're going to see if they can get themselves out of this tonight. Uh, and um, before we do that, though, we are going to do some introductions, uh, a couple of announcements, a thank you to our sponsor, and uh, just a quick notice, uh, two things real quick before we get into all of that. Uh, the first is tonight's game is going to be kind of just a straight sprint. Um, a couple of us are feeling under the weather, but we're going, we, we've rallied and we're here to, to fight the good fight. Uh, but we are going to try to get this episode done in kind of just like one straight go, probably two, two and a half hours. So it's going to be a little shorter than usual, but there won't be a break or a chat, so it it's going to be about the same length of game time. Uh, secondly, I just wanted to remind everybody that this section of Mage the Ascension of the Victorian Age does have uh, quite a few things that could be triggering to some folks in them. I want to do a specific call out for mental health issues, um, uh, mental health issues, transphobia, violence, and um, uh, uh, imprisonment is a big theme of this one. Uh, so if those are particular hot buttons for you, please do yourself a favor. And um, if you need to step, step away from the game, do. We'll be waiting for you when you get back, or you could just join us in the next adventure after this, which is going to be a little less psychologically harrowing. Uh, in fact, if you join us in book three, I think it'll be is full of murder, uh, but the, the more fun kind, if that makes sense. So if you need to take this book off, um, don't worry, we'll be able to catch you up. Uh, mind your health, and uh, we're, we're pulling for you. Uh, so with that, let's go around and say hello to everyone, starting with Christine. Hello, Christine. Hello, I'm Christine. I use she, her pronouns. And tonight I play Evelyn Taylor, Dr. Evelyn Taylor, our uh, my mad scientist of a Society of Ether member. Nice. All right, over in the corner, we've got Amy. Hey, Amy. Hello, hi, I'm Amy. My pronouns are she, her, or they, them. I am playing Chastity, Prudence, Goodwin, the uh, Cult of Ecstasy slash Celestial Chorister. Nice. All right, down to the corner, the other corner, uh, we have Jen. Hey, I'm Jen. I use she, her pronouns. And tonight I play Josephine Carrington, our Order of Her Hermes, Benny Tharsis. And last but not least, we have Robin. Hello, I'm Robin. I use she, her pronouns, uh, as does Darcy Harkness, our member of the Verbena, who, um, oh, I, can, I could have Bran on my shoulder-ish, kind of, but I could, but I, he's in the other room right now. I've Bran is sleeping. I've Octavius, and I am sad. No, <laughs> don't know where he is. Um, so, Jen, you also got some amazing chibi art of Josephine. That's, have you shared it on the Discord? I did, yes, so, on my channel. So it's it's under uh, Jen's Paradoxical Palace. So, uh, folks, uh, you need to go over to the Discord right now. Uh, go join our Discord. If you're watching later on YouTube, the link is down in our episode titles and also in our uh, About Us page on YouTube. Uh, you definitely should go and join us. It's a great community, and um, you get to see some great art. You get to collaborate on some cool stuff, and it's wonderful. Another thing that you should do, though, is go to Paradox, a Mage the Ascension podcast, uh, and go listen to that. So uh, the Mage, the Ascension, the, the, this game is starting to go up on our podcast right now, uh, but also Jen's podcast is up right now, uh, and you should go to Paradox Mage Podcast dot podbean dot com or paradox mage podcast wherever you get your podcast it's on like almost every platform and if you don't find it please hop on the discord send us a message something like that so that we know where to get it because uh, we want to support jen doing this mage podcast because mage is great it's great i recently listened to the episode about life magic and i have Ooh. no ideas for darcy right it's like i'm glad to give you ideas that was my hope yeah <laughs> yeah it, you know I appreciate it. Nice. All right. So um, besides that, a couple of big things that are happening um, in the next couple of weeks. Um, oh, boy, what's happening soon? Um, in three weeks, we're going to be at Sakino Matsuri in Victoria, BC. So if you want to come out there, there I think there are still some tickets for the Sunday available. We're going to have a live D&D game there, as well as uh, I'm running several panels and events. And uh, Amy's helping me run a, a meme-based game show and uh it's gonna be a lot of fun actually amy we got to sit down and finish the the slides for that um 
so you consider joining us for that and then after that the following weekend in august so that um that event is on august 12th and 13th and then the following weekend august 18th through 20th is extra life which is a charity that we run um in in cooperation with the children's miracle network and the extra life foundation to raise money for our local children's hospitals uh, so all of the money we raise during that period uh goes to the bc children's hospital or the local children's hospital of whichever player you donate to and this time we've got to do so we have 20 28 players who are joining us for that game now and or those games i should say because there are 28 players across 14 games across three days that is a lot of gaming and uh, surprising amount of chronicles of darkness content uh surprising amount of weird stuff very weird games and i hope you come and join us at the very least it's going to be a fantastic time and even if you can't afford to donate uh a quick reminder though that if you do those donations are tax deductible uh, if you're inside of the US or Canada. Um, but even just having you in the chat, having you watch and having you check out some weird eclectic games with some of our guests is a fantastic way to spend time with us. We'd love to have you there. Uh, those games will also go up on YouTube after probably about a month. Uh, and the Extra Life games from November will soon be up because I lost my notes on what I had to edit and I just found them. So I'm gonna be editing those this week, hopefully. Uh, besides that, um, I also wanted to do a quick thank you to our sponsor for today's episode and our sponsor for the last few months, which has been a wonderful boon for us and a boon for you because, hey, do you like immersive games? Fear not, although the bookworm Quest Chest Kickstarter is over, late backers can still go check out Quest Chest by Bookworm Games. If they do so, they can engage all senses by playing a fully system agnostic module with wax sealed letters, metal coins, candles, and actual tea, as well as narrated voiceover and custom music to set every scene. Secrets hide in plain sight with ciphers and puzzles for your players to decode. The first two boxes are available if you want to get them in advance over at bookwormgames.com, where you can save 10% with code DORKTALES. Or you can go pick up those other five and stretch goals over at Kickstarter still. The backer kit um, or the, the late pledges are available right now. So definitely go to questchest.info or go to Kickstarter and search Quest Chest to learn more. And if you're not in the mood for Quest Chest, if you're not a DM, because they are very great gifts for DMs and they're very great things for a DM or GM to run, uh, might I suggest you check out Bookworm Games' website, where, hey, calling all dice dragons, Bookworm Games has over 168 different types of dice from acrylic to resin, metal to liquid core, even actual gemstones like their Mage the Ascension themed amethyst dice. They're awesome. I have used them for most of the awful rolls that have happened to, well, they're great for me, bad for them, uh, the rolls that have happened this chapter um you can get dice bags to hold your hoard trays to ensure your rolling safety which is wonderful if you have gemstone dice and a glass rolling surface um you can engage all of your senses while gaming with candy dice which can be used to intimidate your other dice into submission or get some theme scented candles to set the mood with your dice to make them roll a bit more well especially helpful if you're playing a bard or a cult of ecstasy member uh, you can also check out their five mystery boxes or even a magical item monthly subscription with fun surprises every month use code dorktales to save 10% and I have it on good authority that some new adoptable familiars are going to be coming in the near future. More info about that coming soon. Thank you to Bookworm Games for being a fantastic sponsor and for helping keep the lights on here. If you want to join them uh, in helping keep the lights on though you can either go over to them and use code dorktales or you can go to the Patreon at dorktales um, at patreon.com slash dorktales where you can support the stream directly and get between five and six or seven additional games a month. That's a lot of games a month, plus other podcasts, including the Dork Pod, uh, a D&D &D podcast set in a manic pixie dream girl world that Jen is in the process of editing right now. And I, I've heard on good authority that it's actually good, so consider it. Um, and with that, um, thank you so much for for being here with us today. All right, everybody. Does anybody have any questions, comments, or concerns before we hop in? I don't think you'd as answer always. all of our questions. Oh, comments many concerns. concerns. Yeah. yeah. Many as questions? always, many concerns. You can always try. What's happening? What's happening? Not much. What's happening with you? Yeah. What's the big, who's the big bad? Oh, um, Chastity. Mm. But who's the villain of the story? Check yeah. it out. Uh, probably Evelyn. <laughs> I haven't even done anything wrong yet. Yeah, but give me three more books to set it up and it'll be fine. That's fair. I mean, I may have thought about it, but I haven't done it yet. 
Yeah, I know, but it's like, you know, you said you said of the entire thing. Who's the big bad? The big bad is entropy and capitalism, as always. Uh, all right, so folks, let's go ahead and hop in to uh, game. Right? Oh, hey, one last thing before we do, uh, real quick. Um, we just discovered today that our, our store over on TeePublic now allows tie-dye shirts, and the Paradox does not exist shirt in tie-dye and the devil and the doves in tie-dye look really sick and i just wanted to tell you that uh because if you're looking for a tie-dye shirt I, I i don't know how cool they are i don't know if the colors bleed i don't know anything aside from that i got an email today that said we had tie-dye shirts and i i freaked out and like forced the chat to look at or forced our private chat to look at like 20 of them all right so uh without further ado I think it is just about time for us to head in to episode four. Y'all ready? Awesome. All right. Yeah, let's do it. Last time on Mage, the Ascension, the Victorian Age. Being swashbuckling members of the French court who had united to resist the forces of Countess Octavie and Cardinal Escoffier, you planned your assault and your resistance of the powers that were overtaking France. You met at a place called the Suckling Pig, your contact, the Swallow, a dashing young man who told you that your contact, known, well, your target of rescue, at least, a person known as the Heretic, was being held in the basement, well, in the dungeon, of Countess Octavie. However, before he could give you much more information, you were attacked by the Countess's men. And after a pitched battle, you found that, well, you found your contact dead. From there, you knew that there was only one thing to do. Go and rescue this one, the Pretender. And with that, I would like everyone to make me an Arate roll. Ooh, 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 you guys might get lucky this time. And do I still get those successes from my yeah. mind shield? Mm-hmm, okay. until that thing fades. Okay. Uh... What is it? Difficulty of six, I'm assuming. Difficulty six. Cool. And I have two successes on top of my four, I think it was. Ooh. This is a grand old start. That's a double botch. A Three double successes. botch? I rolled two ones, a two, and a four. Ooh. <laughs> um... I'm here forever. <laughs> so that's a critical botch? <laughs> critical botch. Can you critical that botch? Um, he's like, fuck. I gotta remember the rules for something. One sec. Oh, God. Um, oh, no, I made Kelly remember rules. Okay, no. so, Jen, please do me a favor, and I have to go to thesaurus.com. One second. Ooh. Ooh, uh, I know what this is. Uh, please do me a favor and um, uh, replace. Uh, what are you? Do you have any dynamic resonances? Oh, I have two. Which ones? Uh, forceful and fiery. Ooh boy! Um, I would like you to also add passionate to that list. Oh. Okay. Um. Jeez. Also, uh, you are going to fall hard into character. Okay. Like, super hard into character. Um, and uh, make a note to yourself that you are going to be at a plus one difficulty uh, the next time you have to roll this. Okay. Good to know. Okay. Um, Thanks. Every... <laughs> Peace <Hey>. out. <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay, so going through the list, Evelyn, how many did you have? Three successes. Chastity? Six. Successes, okay. Darcy? Three. Three? 
All right, so uh, as you take a step out and stride over to your horses, mounting up and preparing to head across the countryside, you'll feel your butts hit the saddles. And then, Josephine, you will sink into character like a lovingly warmed velvet cushion. However, everyone else... The sound of the burning tavern behind you. The sound of people running and trying to put out the blaze will fade into the background as all three of the rest of you will emerge from the illusion, conscious. I, um, Josephine is going to whoop as she <laughs> just like Sent, takes off on the horse. Okay, Josephine takes off riding. Oh, Darcy's going to um, f flick the reins, dig her keels in, and try and uh, follow Josephine. Again, looking a bit be bewildered because this is her first time being lucid in, in this setting, so Darcy's kind of like... Wait. Are we not... I'm awake, but we're not in that... That place? What? <gasps> She'll look at Evelyn and Chas and be like... I think Evelyn will be like one hand gripping the reins, just kind of leaning a little hunched over. Um, acclimating to coming out of it again. And I think Chas is like has just realized that Josephine's gone under and is registering that, oh, apparently Darcy's out, um, but is going to focus on just moving, not falling off the horse. All right, do you follow Josephine as she rides off? Now, Josephine, you know exactly where you are headed. The, the home of Countess Octavie. Countess Octavie dwells inside of the immense and sweeping Chateau... Zephaline. Chateau Zephaline is... It's a sprawling country, a state. Some... Some ways from here. And if you were to rescue this pretender... That is where you will find them. What about the rest of you? Do you do you try to make haste to keep up with Josephine, or are you just gonna let her do this on her own? Oh, I said Darcy flicks the reins and yacht yep. after. Okay. Yeah, and Chas is immediately going after, but again, has had very bad luck with this so far, so she's very focused on that. All right, so riding down some of the side trails around, the sound of the burning tavern um, fades behind you, and you will all basically your horses will catch up to each other and ride neck and neck with each other as you go. Uh, close enough that you can talk as you go. What are you doing? I think Josephine's just, she's like, she's in this. So she is doing the whole like excited musketeer. Um, we're off to save someone like yelling and whooping as as we go. There's no there's no stealth here. There's none of that. <laughs> but she's also not necessarily trying to have a conversation because she is riding at full tilt. <laughs> I think since we're having to ride at full tilt to keep up with Josephine, I think Evelyn's going to try and assess the others because Josephine's pretty obviously under. Uh, Darcy, do you have any points of ride? Oh boy, that would be. I have points of drive, but not which I think we did say was ride. It is Darcy ride. Wood doesn't drive a car. Yeah, so I have a point of ride. Okay. Um. So, um, you're gonna notice that Darcy is able to ride her horse. So it's not like she's suddenly like Chas going from being like quite a good rider to oh god. Well, actually, no, Chas, you were always out of the illusion, so never mind. Um. So, uh, but looking, Darcy's probably going to be looking around fairly wide-eyed. Yeah, Darcy's like, she's kind of bewildered because this is the first time she's out. And the last time when they were out, they could see the other, like, 
the asylum mm. that they were in. So Darcy's kind of like, she's looking a little stunned in like, what's going on here? Okay. Evelyn, if that, I think that probably gives her the sense that the other two are out. and Or at least aware of the situation a bit. Um, I think she's going to try and call over quietly ish like not just full not full to- voice screaming but kind of follow Josephine's lead yep and let's try and cut through this as fast as we can hopefully whoever the main person is ends up being like last time so is that what we're gonna have to keep doing she's saying it's just as riding through uh if I know lovers. it's not oh like God. I've experienced this before at least not to my knowledge wait Teddy oh God oh God oh God wasn't, wasn't him wasn't him what are you all yattering like about over there? Josephine's uh, voice has taken on a bit of a French accent now. <laughs> Just, okay, it was sort of I can't do it, but she has it. Sure. <laughs> uh, we're just discussing what, what's happening next, uh, Josephine. Obviously, I have to, to find a way to, to save this heretic. Of course we do. I vote that Josephine takes lead. I'm right Second there with did. you. <laughs> just like keeps on Rosa, right. She's riding her horse hard. Okay. Uh, so riding. Oh no! Her- oh no! Chas is kicking forward, trying to like catch up if she sees if Josephine's kicking even for like going even harder. Um, can Evelyn pull towards Chas hmm? and try and take over control of her horse? Sure. Why don't you go ahead <laughs> and just hold on? Uh, why don't, if you just want to hold on to her reins and do it, yeah, you absolutely can. Well, because you can flip the reins forward and then be leading the other horse and then the sure. horse you're go, on will Go ahead come. and just do me, uh, give me, give me a quick dex and ride roll. Okay. Um, What's my difficulty? Difficulty of this, it's six. The horse is very well trained, but do you have points of ride? I do. Oh, okay. As then. Evelyn. She even has points of fencing. Ooh. Uh, three successes. Three successes? Yeah, you'll easily yes, be able to... even in my survey, she learned to fence for exercise as a young lady. Of course, of course. All right, so yes, you'll easily be able to grab onto the reins of, um, of Chastity's horse and guide it as Darcy rides alongside and Josephine straights ahead. I will flick the reins forward off the over the horse's head so I'm kind of guiding it from the front so it's not, like, right side by side and tell Chas, just grab the mane. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, and Josephine, because yeah. you, because you double botched, um, so all of the stats that I, the bonuses I gave you for being in the illusion increase them by one. So you will have weaponry cool. three, firearms three, uh, riding three, tactics three. Oh, there's more. You only gave us two last time. I only gave you the ones that were necessary. Ah, uh, okay. So what were what were the other ones? Uh, so if uh, military tactics, if needed. Okay. Uh, and uh, basically, at any point where a musketeer's knowledge will come into play, if you can ask, would I have knowledge of this, uh, etiquette three would also apply. Okay. So Cool. But you can always ask, would I, would this apply? Cool. Sounds right. good. Right. Thank you. It's basically like dream for some reason. Yeah. Weird, right? Okay. Weird. Yeah. You ride hard, and soon enough, your horses have a slight lather on them as you make your way to the outside of a chateau. You see it distant over the rolling verdant hills, and you can see that there is a bit of a storm brewing overhead. Thunder crackles, and a bit of rain falls around you as you come to a rest in a clearing, trying to figure out something, trying to figure out a plan. Josephine, you can see Um. it. Sorry, what? Oh, I was just gonna say, as as we kind of pull up m- more to a stop, um, 
uh, Josephine's gonna look over at at this chastity Evelyn train and be like, "Did you drink too much?" I just got hurt in the. That's probably part of it. And then. That as uh, well. Of course. Now, how do we approach this? Which room do you think they're being held in? Oh, the tallest tower, of course. Climb the outside, then. What about the deepest dungeon? To the top? Yeah. What about the dungeon, as well? Mm. It's also a possibility. Does this place have a dungeon? It might have a cellar. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what we remembered from what Teddy said. You don't know who this was... te- this Teddy is. You yeah, know the I was swallow. Gonna... <laughs> yeah. Who's this Teddy? You speak of? Ah, uh, so- sorry, the swallow. Hmm. He never gave his name. He looks an awful lot like someone we know, though. Ah. Deja vu. I am familiar. Do we remember what? Teddy said. He did not. He told you that you had you your job was to go and rescue this person, uh, and okay. that they were being held uh, at Countess Octavie's um, uh, estate. Okay, I for some reason have dungeon stuck in my head, and I'm just wondering if that's just me filling that in. <laughs> I think he he may have said dungeon. We'll uh, we'll say we'll say dungeon. We'll say dungeon. Uh, we'll but we will also um, if I can ask Josephine. Josephine, please do me a favor and uh, make me an intelligence plus three roll at a difficulty of eight to know uh, the layout of the um, the chateau slash castle. Because God damn, if you look up French chateau, French castle floor plans, they're almost identical. My dice, they do not like me. That's only one success. One success. So you do know that there is a tall tower, uh, but you also do know that there is a um, an old dungeon beneath the place that was used to hold revels during the previous war. Ah, yes, the rebels' dungeon. They might be held in the rebels' dungeon. Um, while we're looking around, are there any? Um, are there any, like, dogs or pet, like, animals around the chateau, like, guarding it or anything? Well, from here, you're probably about a half mile away, at least, so... Oh, okay, I thought we were closer. <laughs> did you want to ride right up to the, right up to the wall? Well, is, is the wall, like, is it on the edge of a clearing? Is it a field? Like, how so close is, is the, the is... tree line to the forest? So the tree line the has a, about a half mile break on all sides okay so this is this all is right. a a place that is defensible um and yes. uh, there is a there is a stone exterior wall that is uh surrounding the main building uh but the building is basically a it's not terribly tall there are a couple of larger tower sections but it is a a two floor pink building that is a very much just a large rectangle um, it has some slight crenulation around, um, that's the wrong word, uh, but it has some slight, um, uh, some slight undulation, I guess we'll say. I forget the exact term for it, uh, along some of what would have been, well, stylistically battlements, but not battlements in this case. Uh, and they're crimped. <laughs> they're, yeah, basically. Like, if you look over the shoulder right there, there's some crimping along the, along the thing. Um, and uh, there are two tall towers off of um, uh, off of the northern sides of the estate. Um, but um, what I would like you to do, actually, is Darcy, can you make me a perception and alertness roll at a difficulty of eight? Oh, okay, perception alertness. One success. One success. Yeah, you... your dice are very chaotic to me tonight. Um, you can hear um, the sound of some dogs barking in the distance inside of the walls. 
Thunder crackles overhead. You can hear the sound of some dogs barking in startle, as well as a man's voice rising and telling them to shut up loudly from inside of the walls. Um... Um, jo- Josephine. Um, I'm I'm forgetting. Um, I'm having a bit of a foggy brain right now. But you are familiar. You are very familiar with Chateau. Do you know what kind of dogs those would be that you're would hearing right now? Oh, those dogs. Yeah. Do you Do you remember what kind of Chateau dogs that you know the French usually have? I'm gonna say mastiffs. Did- because mastiffs have been used since the Roman era, and they're very dependable. Perfect. And then I don't have to Perfect. Google it. If anybody wants to Google French guard dogs 1600s, I would appreciate it. But we're going to go with mastiffs otherwise. You know, now I'm going to Google this. Hold on. Guard. Oh, chat said mastiffs. There we go. And dogs. There's yeah. dogs in my place. Mastiffs are big, so Ooh. that's... Um, would you yeah. say that's the same Four life forks. size as Kelly? What's that? As a as Would a dogs be uh, as a woman, the size, same... as, as a woman, yes, absolutely. As okay. a woman, Darcy size because Darcy's like five four, five five. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. A mastiff is like cool. not quite as big as me. They, they big boys. I don't boys. have any of my apparently the common one also but... was Great Pyrenees. Ooh, yeah. So basically, yes. That's what I was wondering. I was thinking of potentially of that. Okay. So yes, big the dog. same mass as Darcy. Um, yeah. Um, gonna... so there, uh, so Josephine's gonna listen for a second and then just go, obviously Mastiffs. Were you asleep in school when they taught us this? It, yeah, I'm just, um, I might have, it just went in and out one ear. Um, hmm. I'm wondering about potential, I wonder if I could s- s- get, try and sneak in and get some information. Um, stealth could be useful. Alright, um, Darcy's gonna try and turn into a Mastiff. Okay, please spend a willpower to, uh, to force the effect without your, your foci. Yep. Alrighty. So give me this at difficulty of seven, please. Cap. Actually, give me that eight. is going. I'll allow it at seven. Yep. Yeah, we'll say seven. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, we're doing it at seven. I would like. What? Oh. We have uh, one success at seven right now. Okay. Would you like to continue going? I would like to continue going. Okay. You could spend a willpower on this for the effect. Yep. And I'm also going to spend my last point of quint to raise okay. it to, to lower it to seven. Okay. Sounds good. And I want you to describe how you're doing this. I'm going to chuck my dice off my desk. That's a weird focus, but <laughs> I'll allow the it. Way. Right? Uh huh. All right. Well, now, what is that? I can't. I'm just gonna roll just another just dice because I cannot read that from the ground. All right, that's four successes on top of that. Okay, so you will be able to hold the shape of a dog for the remainder of the scene. Actually, for the so remainder of you're... the day with four. Cool. Um, I think you're just gonna see Darcy. She doesn't have her mother's spell book so she's just she's just gonna get on her hands and knees on the ground and you're just gonna see her just this this is gonna be fun for later uh, which eventually I know when she reverts this will be great comedy Um, but she's going to you're just gonna see her suddenly strip down all of her clothes until she is just fully in the nude and, and then just gonna see 
her body start to contort and twist and like her features will slowly just change from a uh, dog or human to dog. Okay. All right. So there is the sound of like, so is it very visceral? Is there the sound of a bunch of like sinew cracking yeah. and like bones yeah, realigning? Yeah, you're going to hear her. Yeah. Cause I'm thinking, I'm going off of a lot of like what happened with um when she forced herself to turn into a man above her, her level. And there was a very painful experience. I think it's when she shaped it, it's very similar to that but it's just not as painful and hard as when she did it without this level. All right, so you are going to hear the sound of realigning of bones and tissue and sinew and the stretching of flesh and the tearing of body parts as Darcy uh, reconfigures herself into a large mastiff. What in the holy? She hasn't done that before, has she? It's mostly I've never to seen Evelyn. It. <laughs> I feel like I've never seen I such. I don't think so. No. Um, huh. Can I can I talk, Kelly, or my am I bone? Nope. Am I you, dog? You are a dog. I'm dog. You did not state that you wanted to have human vocal cords. Nope, I did not. I was kind of yep. <laughs> All right, so you are a dog now. Can you sneak in in this form? The dog awkwardly nods its head. <laughs> that looks so strange. It is. Very strange. Well, at least... Maybe she's friendly. At least it doesn't, does not seem like she can talk, but that would be entirely unnatural. This is only somewhat unnatural. Yeah, only somewhat unnatural. Just a little. Um, how about Darcy? How about you go and scout ahead, and we will wait here very patiently. And if you start howling horrendously, we know that things have gone very awry, and we need to come rescue you. Yes. Woof. Excellent. Shh. Okay. All right. So Darcy, you're going to head forward. Can you please do me a favor and make me a dex and uh, stealth roll using your, your new dex. Dog dex is going to be... You're going to have dex of three. If you don't already. Uh, and no, I have four, so I'm, I've downgraded myself by doing this. <laughs> no, I'm not planning on stealthing and I'm trying to pretend to be like a dog that got out from okay. there. So in that case, dogs. why don't you go ahead and make me a... A manipulation plus subterfuge roll to be a dog. Um, if you don't have subterfuge, I will allow animal can. Um, oh, animal right. can, animal can does is... not exist on the sheet. It's a write in. That's right. Uh, so subterfuge yeah. it is. I, I have subterfuge. Um, so I'm using my my stats, right? You're using well. You're no. You're using the dog's manip. Well, yeah. You're using yeah. You'd use the okay. dog's appearance. I'm first look up Mage the Ascension dog. Um, <laughs> yes, you should definitely pull up the dog stats from the book. Dog large. Okay. Yep. So you'll use large dog. What's its dex? Uh, three. Okay. I had a feeling it wasn't quite as dexterous as a cat. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, as a dog, you will plod up and... Um, the gates to the estate are open. So you can actually just plod right inside of the gates on your big pads. Cap. Thunder crackles overhead, and for you, it sounds like a bomb going off in your ears. You can see and smell colors beyond the horizon, beyond anything that you've ever sensed before. And as, as you are approaching the main gate, you are going to smell the lightning three seconds before it strikes. Your nose will tingle with this buildup of, of ions as you smell the ozone and the crackling coming. But rounding the corner, go ahead and give me that roll to pretend to be a dog. All right. So uh, you are going to do this at difficulty of four. Okay. Because you look like a dog um, and are a dog and basically and just I'm, don't bother. I'm a dog. Uh, that's three successes. Three successes to act like a dog. 
Uh, that's pretty good. So yeah. you're not going to nail the body language perfect for dogs, maybe. They, you're going to be a weird dog. But for a human, you're a good dog. <laughs> so as you round the gate, um, you'll see that there are a pair of soldiers at the front who are going to turn and look at you. They're dressed like um, they're dressed like guardsmen with pikes, and they are going to like look down and what's good, doggy? How'd you get out here? Look, come here, girl. Come here, girl. Come, come, come. <laughs> Maso, Maso. One of your dogs got out. One of this this thickly built man with greasy black hair and like a goatee and mustache is going to round the corner, look over and go. Did you get out? Go, come here, come here. I don't think this is one of mine. Whose bitch are you? <sighs> oh, you're friendly though. All right, hold still, hold still. You good? You good? He's gonna put a he's gonna put a gloved hand on your on your muzzle and check your your teeth. Yeah. Well, you're a strongly built bitch. Whoop. Yeah. Solid, good flanks. You know what I mind, but uh, I'm sure we could find some use for you. Woof. It'd be good breeding stock. Come on! It kind of loops a length of rope around your neck. Or attempts to. Uh, yeah, Darcy's gonna try and run into the castle. <laughs> okay. Alright, so go ahead and give me a dex and athletics roll. Cap. Um... <laughs> And as you are doing that, you can hear thunder crackle overhead. And uh, Josephine, you are watching this all through a telescope. Cool, yeah. Oh, my telescope's over there. Oh no. <laughs> What's my difficulty, guy? Uh, your difficulty to get, uh, he's not expecting it, so I'm gonna say six. Oh, wait. Actually, I'm gonna say five. Cool, that's four successes. Four successes. He's got one, two. Okay. All right. Uh, he takes a length of uh, length of cord and tries to lash it around your throat. Uh, but you're going to kind of dive under his hand and race up toward the castle doors. And the castle doors are shut at this point, but you could try to slam into them. Oh boy. Um. And the French have not invented the doggy door yet. They have not. No, that was next year that it's invented. Um, oh, darn. Now, now you're inside of the main walls of the castle at this point. Well, castle chateau. I keep interchangeably mm -hmm. using them. So um, you can absolutely uh, rush around. There's a small garden around the back. Yeah, I think Darcy's going to try and run around, gain a bit of a... Uh, I think at this point, Darcy's going to start yipping and yowling and try and make a scene and distract as many people as she can at this point I think to be like hey, get back here okay come on get back here uh so why don't you go ahead okay why don't you go ahead and make me a charisma plus subterfuge roll okay dog doesn't have charisma you use so your use charisma cat uh, I'm guessing charming doesn't apply <laughs> no, it will not apply to being a nuisance. Yeah, no. Uh, so it's charisma and subterfuge? Subterfuge, unless you have another trait that you think would be more pro appropriate. Pitch it to me. Um, For causing a fuss? Hmm. Expression? For putting on a performance? Sure. Or brawl? For just being a, let's, a nah, brute. let's go. Let's go. You know what? Let's go with subterfuge. I like that the best. Okay. Okay. Um, whatever Josephine can see through the telescope up to the point where where Darcy's kind of inside, um, she is narrating to the other two. Okay. <laughs> just as though it were from like a, a Dumas book. <laughs> oh God, that's great. Okay. All right. What's what was my difficulty? Uh, your difficulty for this is going to be six. Okay. 
Woof, that is one success, because I rolled a one on that, so that okay. was that was fun. One. So you're going to draw one the six. the houndmaster and one of the guards from the front from gate. Okay. Uh leaving only one guard at the front. Yeah. Alright. So, uh, so you're going to run with them into some of the back gardens, kind of barking and rushing around and making a big mess, probably digging up some of the like the rose bushes as you go and just kind of causing some damage. Oh yeah. Yep, okay. totally trying to just make a fuss and then, like, potentially, uh, you know, try and gain some, like, knowledge of this this place and seeing if there's any, like, like running around the edge of the castle to see if there's, like, any, like, recessed window wells or anything that would lead to, like, potentially, like, where the cells are, if there's a dungeon. Uh, there... Well, I want you to do me a favor, and as you're running around, I want you to make me uh, a perception plus investigation okay. roll. Okay. Um, and you are using scent, so you are going to make this at difficulty of difficulty of five, and you will have a specialty in this. Okay. So perception and investigation. Difficulty five. Oh my god! I rolled two ones on that, so that's just a fail. A fail. <laughs> you're, you're, but... um, every time you start to get a bit of a scent, you will hear the sound of boots directly behind you, right on your tail, literally, and uh, we'll just have to keep dun -dum, dun -dum, dun -dum, dun -dum, like rushing ahead. This this guy may be fat and old, but he is definitely used to chasing dogs. It almost like it's his profession, uh, and he's going to be right on you along with the guard, going, "Come here, girl! Come here! Come here! Oh, not the roses!" All right, uh, you are going to continue rushing uh, around, trying to evade them, and let's cut back out to the rest of your friends. Uh, everyone else, um, Josephine has been narrating this entire debacle as she's been watching through her uh, spyglass. There is only one guard at the front gate at this point. What do you all do? Well, shall we sneak in? We could sneak in or we could lie to get in, but I think sneaking might be easier. Let's go. Okay. Uh, are you taking your horses or are you just going to try to cross on foot the half mile? I think I'm gonna try ground tie my horse and yeah, yeah. Okay. Try and cross. All right. So I'd like all three of you to make me a dexterity and stealth roll. All right. Dex and stealth. I, I don't get any bonus to stealth, do I? <laughs> uh, what do you have on stealth? Anything? None. I'll give you two, but I'll give you two dice for it. Does that one have Yay. a negative? Uh, stealth, uh, is it in the first column or the second column? Remind me. Second. Then it's a uh, plus one difficulty. So difficulty of, uh, so we're going to say it's difficulty seven because it's open terrain. Um, and, uh, so for you, it's difficulty eight. Three. Perfect. Four. Perfect. Three. Perfect. All right. You're going to keep low to the ground and move swiftly, crossing that without a problem. Soon you're going to find yourselves at one of the back walls and you are going to hear the sound of yipping and hollering and a pair of, well, two pairs of boots uh, rushing around going, come here, girl, come here, get around the pass, go around the other side of the hedge. On the other side of the wall. Causing a bit of a commotion. What do you do? Do you decide to scale the wall? Yeah. Okay. At least well, that's what Josephine's deciding. <laughs> all right. There are handholds. I would like anybody who wants to try to climb over this, please make me a, um, uh, a dexterity and athletics roll. Yes, Chastity. Chastity looks at this and sees a wall and does not want to climb it. So she's going to keep sneaking around to try and find an alternate entrance. Okay. Like maybe a sewer tunnel or a... Uh or a side gate, anything like that. Okay. Um, you, Chastity is going to head around the way, and Chastity, as you move around the corner of the wall, uh, you will see that there is a, a side gate with a pair of guards sitting at it playing poker. Or playing some type of card game, at the very least, yeah. uh, on top of a barrel. Um, this way is kind of... Um, a little bit off the path. The, the gate cannot be seen from one of the windows, so they do have kind of a barrel tucked out of the way, obscured so that they can play in peace. 
and they're just kind of muttering to themselves as you're approaching. Do I have like um? What if I can pretend to be an, like a servant or uh, someone who's supposed to be coming in this way? You might be able to. Do you want to make me a uh, a manipulation and subterfuge roll? Yeah, um, and because yeah. I'm putting on a bit of a, a present, like um, an act. Mm -hmm. Can I use that as part of a focus for a mind effect to make them perceive me more like what I am? Yeah, like absolutely. Like I, what I want them to be. So make me the roll of difficulty six. Also going to try and sneak around. So I'm going with chastity. Okay. Can I do alter probability with entropy three mm -hmm. to help get us past this? Just making it by making it like, oh yeah, totally. Like, the probability of this is perfect. We are going to get by this type thing. Mm, I can help. You, it, will, it would help bend uh, things in your favor, yes. Mm -hmm. So, um, how would you do that? Scientifically. I don't know. <laughs> Well, do you want to think on that for a second? Well, well, I because I had a thing to ask Kelly too, and since okay. I'm back on the other part of the wall. <laughs> okay, so Josephine, you prepared the party because that's you, what you do. You prepare to climb over and notice the two of your friends have left you on the corner. Um, I think what it is is that Josephine's like, ah, yes, the perfect entrance point, and just starts climbing, and the other okay. two are like, fuck no, <laughs> and then leave. Okay. Um, but I was wondering if I could, um like instinctually uh, cast forces magic to make it easier to get up here. Yeah. Yeah, that I mean, sounds great. I, I'm being all three musketeers -y and swashbuckly yeah, and all great. of that. So. That sounds wonderful to me. Perfect. Um, so Chastity, let's go through you real quick. So what did you get on the on the prep to like kind of ruffle yourself and present yourself up like what a servant? the role for that one? Because you... Manipulation and subterfuge. Okay, so I did not roll all of my dice. That is what I was missing. Um, and I also have guile as a specialty. Yep, that'll that'll work. And what was my difficulty? Difficulty for that is six. Okay. So this is what's called ability enhancing magic, where you take some time. Uh, this is going to drop your uh, uh, this is going to drop your difficulty to cast the magic by three to a minimum of three. Amazing. So yeah. that was three successes. All right. So Evelyn, as as you see Chastity kind of like adjusting her bodice, adjusting her hair, are you? and uh, it takes a minute to turn around and adjust yours as well, if you're walking with her. Okay. Uh, what would you do? I don't. I don't know. Okay. So you'll just tag along. Okay. All right. So Chastity, go ahead and make me that mind roll then. What was the difficulty? Difficulty three. Did you botch? Oh no. I have one, one, and a three. Just fail then, I think. Just fail. Okay. Yeah, I was very close to being a, a very botchy botch, but. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, um, as you kind of like ruffle your stuff over and you kind of walk up to them, um, they're both going to, like, look up at you as you round the corner. What's this, then? Who are you? Well, if clearly, the, if, if I feel the mind effect fizzle, then we're just going to have to actually act. Okay. Um, can I use a combination of manipulation or appearance and... Where did I put it? Seduction is a write-in. Uh, give me appearance and seduction. Absolutely. What's my difficulty? Uh, your difficulty for this is going to be seven, because they're a little suspicious that you just kind of showed up out of nowhere. It's a difficulty of seven. That is two successes. Two successes, so you're going to kind of like adjust yourself and kind of push the girls up and uh... Exactly. Who's this then? What are you doing out here? Well, I think you know. 
<laughs> why don't why don't we take this inside? It's not even my birthday. Guy, did you do this? I did not. But uh Uh Evelyn, are you there as well? Uh yes, that was right behind Chess. And the both of you coming for that? Uh, of course. Well, we can't go inside, but uh, around the hedgerow here is a nice obscured place. Well, aren't you playing ahead? All right. Lead the way. Huh. The guards are going to stand up and wander around the corner with you where there is a, a nice little obscured area where a bit of uh, a bit of adult activity could happen. Uh, Josephine, back at you. Can you please give me that athletic, uh, give me the forces roll at a difficulty of three? Because it's coincidental. I got here. two successes on that. No problem at all. So basically you can jump the wall. Cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm just basically using it to give me a little bit of a boost so that, you know, I keep moving upwards. Okay. Um, so what I would like is, can I please get uh, an initiative roll from Josephine, Chastity, and Evelyn? Okay, you have to remind me, is it dex and wits, or it's a lower of dex and wits? It's dex and I'm wits. It's the dex and wits scores. Yes, okay. Added to a d10. Good, cool. Dex and wits. Okay, so that is... Okay, so we have Jen, guard one. Then we have... Evelyn, then we have guard two, then we have, okay. All right, so Josephine, you will climb up on top uh, of the wall. And as you were kind of crouched up there, like, do you just immediately hop over? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna hop down and on the other side of a hedgerow that you've landed on, uh, you are going to hear um, the sound of, for one, fervent barking running or like just running and screaming get back here get back here and um as you land you're gonna hear oh, just right this way giggling on the other side of a hedge wall and several sets of footsteps uh kind of leading down this row kind of this aisle of hedge um would you like to either jump through the hedge jump over the hedge or position yourself around the other side um yeah i think i'm going straight through the hedge okay uh, so, um, you can leap through the hedge, you go ahead and give me, I mean, it's pretty dense, but you have a sword, uh, give me, and you have forces kind of propelling you. So, you know what, I'm going to say, give me a, if you're going to try to just immediately assault one of these men, give me dex and melee at a difficulty of eight because of the hedge. Cool. Yeah. I think, um, just for flavor and because it's funny, um, Josephine like whips out her sword and then cuts a J in the hedge and then like stabs through it. Oh my god. Yep. Okay. Let's do it. That's perfect. Oh god. That is three successes. Okay. So uh, go ahead and uh, give me strength plus two plus your rapier. Uh, so strength plus four. Cool. And that's difficulty six, right? Difficulty six, yeah. Another three. Okay, three successes. Okay, uh, lunging forward um, as you kind of wander around, like taking them to a secluded area, suddenly Josephine is going to burst through this hedge wall that's going to just explode with this J, well, reverse J shaped uh, shower of of topiary, and she's going to burst through and stab one of the men in the arm before he can draw his sword. Uh, he is going to draw his sword now uh, and kind of go, what, mon dieu, and is going to attempt to take a swipe at Josephine while saying, get behind me, ladies, I'll protect you. And um, that is going to be Dex and melee. 
and wound penalties. Uh, Josephine, you can use, oh my god, you can use uh, dex and melee to try to parry, uh, or you can use uh, dex and athletics to dodge. Parry, of course. I don't know why I, I will parry, of course. This is, it's the sword fighting time. It's stealth time is over. So it stealth is, sword is over. Fighting time. That feels like a t-shirt. Stealth is over. Right. Um, da, 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 da. Uh, difficulty six for parry. Yep. Uh, that's four successes. Four successes. Um, you know what? Uh, I'm going to spend a something good happens for you. <laughs> and um, would you please do me a favor? And uh, so he's going to lunge forward. You are going to parry him out of the way. Uh, and he is going to stab into a bit of statuary there. And his blade is going to chink and stick inside of the statuary, um, thereby disabling him. Evelyn, it is your turn. Uh, the other man is surprised and looks like he's gonna try to get in front of you. This man, actually the other, both men are in front of you because they were trying to lead you somewhere. Uh, so uh, one of the men has a blade embedded in a, in a bust of a very, uh, a very statuesque man who kind of looks like um, Kiefer Sutherland. Um, okay. Yeah, uh, and is, has just been stabbed by Josephine. So what would you like to do? All right. Well, they're both in front of her. Yep. Um, and what she was originally planning was uh, trying to be sexy about it, was going to be to lean down all like close to them and reach down to her boot and pull her dagger and stab them up through the chin. But since they're not facing her, she's going to stab them in the back of the neck. Instead. Okay. Because uh, it's you're... a really nice target that's probably not moving too much. If you're doing a cold shot to the neck, um, let's go ahead and say that would normally be difficulty nine. Let's say it's difficulty seven because you're behind him and he's trying to protect you. Okay. So it's a slightly smaller uh -huh. target, but you're going to have advantage. Strength and melee. And you're saying difficulty nine still? Difficulty nine. Or no, difficulty okay. seven. 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 Okay. And that was melee and strength, correct? Uh, that is dex and melee. Dex and melee. Even better. You, you, you do strength for the damage. So what you're thinking is because you've been playing a lot of Chronicles of Darkness, they've streamlined it into a single roll. Whereas, how many successes did you get? Well, that was three tens to start and two nines, so five right off the bat. God, do you have a specialty I in any of this? I wish I had no? a specialty in this. Okay. All right. So that's five successes total. Yeah. Okay. So um, roll me strength plus five, difficulty six. So these dice that you got me last time. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, fair. What do you got? Seven successes? <laughs> the guy doesn't even have seven Four health levels. He's a, he's, a, he's a goon. Four of which were tens. That's the, basically my dice too. Okay, so um, he is not going to be able to you see you coming. You did this to yourself. I did this to myself. You bought them for me. That's true. Um, so you are going to step forward and, you know, screw probability. You're just going to like introduce a knife to his spine uh, and he's going to go. Ugh. Well, I feel like that was her knowledge of the science of anatomy. The science of knives. Um, she knew there. exactly where to put it. Uh, and he's going to gurgle and fall to his knees dead uh, with this like perfect incision that you made at the base of his skull basically uh, there's... and the other one still has a sword stuck in the bust he so... still has a sword stuck in the bust uh, alright it is guard 2's turn he's going to die that's his choice uh, and Amy it's your turn wait you can just choose you can just choose to die you can just or choose not to die. die yeah that's how you get you a student loans Oh, <laughs> I'm glad Chas doesn't know what those are. Um, and okay, uh, the other guy that just got stabbed a little bit. So there he's was a guy facing towards Josephine, right? He's facing Josephine. His sword is stuck in a bust, which will take him an action to remove. Well, that's great. Um, I'm guessing I probably have like like a ribbon or something or laces. I would like to uh, remove that real quickly, like, and choke this person. Okay. 
uh, go ahead and make me a dex and uh, and uh, melee or brawl, your choice. Uh, they're the same number of dots for me. So uh, either works for me. We'll say okay. brawl. Um, because choking is hmm? choking's brawl. Yeah. Okay. And then what would be my difficulty? Uh, difficulty would be six. And he already spent his his free dodge get trying to... Oh, he hasn't spent his free dodge. So, uh, but... Let's see if he notices you. So go ahead and roll. Okay, what how many... did you say my difficulty was? Six. That's a fail. <laughs> okay. Uh, so he is going to see you coming out of the corner of his eye and is going to dodge away with his round and is going to say, What? I thought I could trust you. You are no prostitute! <laughs> wow, I'm offended! <laughs> but you're offended for not being called a prostitute for a change. <laughs> okay, uh, all right, top of the initiative then. Uh, Jen, it is your turn again, but before you act, uh, I want to give um, Darcy, please make me a perception and alertness roll at a difficulty of five to scent your allies. Can I just say the line that I wanted to say immediately after that of course, round? Of course, of course. Never trust a prostitute. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I'm so I'm not looking for my <laughs> allies still. I'm still looking for the away, I'm, the... Well, I, I, that's not what I said. I said, make me a... Oh, okay. Make me a perception and alertness roll. Okay. Perception and alertness. Okay, there we go. That's four successes. Four successes. You're going to smell the mildewy depths of some uh, kind of like to the north of the chateau as you are running around the way um, near uh, near this. Um, let's see. So it would be. So pardon me. Over by one of the of the tall towers over along the western wall, um, you are going to see that there is a slotted vent covered in moss and old rusted bars, but still quite strong, uh, leading into a dank cellar room that is probably a dungeon. You can smell that there is uh, some type of... There, there's a person inside of there. You can smell a man who has not bathed in some time. The smell of shit and body odor is rank in the air. Uh, and then you will smell blood on the air and uh, mm -hmm. will smell your friends. Mm. Okay. Um, Darcy's going to remember where this is. Also, did I take any paradox for turning into a dog? Don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. Concern. Um, uh, all right. I think Darcy's going to make a mental note of where she is. Um, mm -hmm. And... She will... Actually, she's going to paw on the ground. Like, try and, like, dig, like, an X. And then take off to where she sees her friend. Okay, so yeah, go ahead and roll me friends. an initiative roll. Uh, Dex and Wits for the dog, right? Yeah. So my specialty does not apply, then. No, but the do if the dog has Dex... Yeah. Well, do you have Wits for, specialty? No, I have dex. Okay, so no, it's the dog's dex. Four specials you. Okay. Because the I'm using the dog's dex and wits for my stats. wits. Okay. Your brain, dog's, dog's body. Dog's dex, your wits. Yeah, dog's appearance, okay. your socials. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Um, so one die plus dex and wits. Oh, right. Yeah, one die plus dex and wits. Okay, what'd you get? 10? Okay, so uh, mm. going through the initiative still, we have Joe, followed by Guard 1, followed by Houndsman, followed by Evelyn, followed by Darcy, followed by Chas, followed by Guard... 2A, because it's a different guard too. Um, guard B, we'll say. 
All right, so top of the initiative then, Josephine. Um, you can hear barking coming your way. Uh, and there is this man who has lost his sword, uh, but is directly in front of you and ha is wounded in the arm. What do you do? Um, has he turned because he's like, this he's, prostitute has tried to kill me. He's like kind of like half facing you. He's kind of dodged out of the way and he's kind of like facing you with his left side. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I would like to do, I, uh, I'd like to say my line, which I do. And mm -hmm. then um, kidney shot, called shot to the kidney. With your sword? <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Give it to me a difficulty of eight. Because cool. he's expecting it, but he cannot dodge. Indeed. Um, I'm also going to spend a willpower because chat was so kind and bought me some. Oh, nice. Some, so. That is three successes. All right. Roll me strength plus four lethal damage. This guy's not having a good day. He thought that his birthday was in two days. He was about to get, like, a woman bought um, for him. Do I get extra for called shot? Uh, yeah, I'm already including it as auto successes. Cool. Good, good. Just needed to check. Ah, dice. Jumping. Okay, I'm rerolling that one because it jumped when I moved. Ev Evelyn did and 10 points of damage point. to the guy, so... <laughs> um, that is... Only two successes on that. Uh, two successes? Well, that's definitely enough. You would describe how you take him out. Um, so yeah, as he, he dodges and says, I thought I could trust you. Never trust a prostitute. Stab! <laughs> I never will again. Blah! And he dies directly in front of you, falling to the ground. Um, around the corner, you can hear, Hey, get back here! Get back here, dog! Get back here! And, uh... The huntsman, or the the, the houndsman, uh, is going to try to lasso Darcy. As Darcy rounds the corner into this hedgerow. Uh, Darcy, you could make me a dodge yes. roll if you'd like. I was just going to ask. Dex to and that. athletics. So dodges... Okay, using dogs, death, dex, and athletics. Yep. Dex three, athletics two. All my stats are gone. Why? Why? This is... <laughs> I think I got you. What's, what's my difficulty? Difficulty six. Yeah, that's only two successes. Nope, one success. Okay, that is... I'm going to say he has a specialty in wrangling. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's seven successes. Now, yeah, well, that'll be my one. Okay, so rushing around the corner, he is going to throw his, his tether out, and it's going to lash around your throat, and you're going to feel a, a sudden jerk as you are kind of pulled off your feet and are kind of dragged back to him. Uh, so right around the edge there, uh, Evelyn, you are going to see that this large mastiff that you recognize as Darcy uh, is going to be held uh, by a leash by this large hound master. Probably about 25 feet away from you. Okay. 25 feet away, you say. Mm -hmm. I'm tempted to do something very silly, but also like epic if it. Works. All right, what is it? Just throw the knife? Throw the knife at the rope. <laughs> okay, I want you I'm to. Darcy free. Okay, give me a dex and athletics roll. Okay. At a difficulty of nine. <laughs> okay, dice, don't fail me now. Dex and athletics, all right, do it. That's two successes. Okay, you're going to have to do enough to cut the knife, or the, the cut that, so give me strength plus two. Strength. Pardon me, strength plus, yeah, strength, strength plus two. Uh, difficulty on that? Six. Uh, two successes. Okay, the, b somehow against all odds, uh, Evelyn is going to draw back, throw the knife, and Darcy, you're going to feel that lurch on your throat, and then suddenly you're going to be free, and it's your turn, Darcy, as the as the tether holding you is going to snap as a dagger slams into the ground behind your tail. 
Okay. Um, I would like to bite him in the dick, please. Called okay. shots to the Called to shot the to the dick? I feel like that's a specialty for all of you guys here. Uh, yep. Emasculating men. Go. Um, it's, we're, we're women in the Victorian age, yes. Yeah, no, totally. No, totally. I'm down to it. I just verbally eviscerated people. That's true. In the dick. Um... I haven't aimed at their dick for spend. So, uh, they haven't Darcy, me down that far yet. please give me a dex plus brawl roll. Okay. You're using your brawl. So you use your phys- you use your skills. Uh, okay. Because the dog does have a brawl talent. That is that is a dog's innate ability. Okay. So like that's a dog's like dogs are. Dogs learn to fight as they're growing up, playing with other dogs. You are a you are okay. a person pretending to be a dog. So you are the physical dog. Okay. So okay. Um, so go ahead and give me uh, Dex plus Brawl. Uh, you're going to give it to me at a difficulty okay. of eight. Okay. Um, I'm going to spend a willpower on Do this. Do it. Spend a willpower to bite him in the garage. Yep. Down down to one willpower left. If Chat's feeling generous. Good. Hell, I looked down. I was like, seriously. <sighs> that is going to be a total of two successes because I rolled one nine. All right, two successes. Go ahead and roll me a strength plus. Uh, does your in the dog five. stats? Hmm? Five. Five lethal dice for bite. Okay, uh, so that's uh, six dice for lethal then. Cap. Okay. Yeah, it says bite for five dice, claw for three dice. Difficulty six. Do one subtract on... On damage? Yeah, they do. Unless, do were we deciding they that they yeah. didn't for house rules? I, I, think we, I forget. I think I, I've used I them to save your life, so yes. So we are subtracting? Yeah. Okay, no successes then. No successes at all? I rolled one, one six. Oof. Okay. And then the one. So yeah, that's what I was asking. All right. So turning around, you are going to go ahead and uh, clamp your teeth down. Uh, I'm going to say that that's still going to hurt. And I'm going to apply a minus two health. I'm going to apply a minus two dice penalty to his rolls this round. Because you still, you're, you're still a dog that just bit him in the crotch. That's going to do some emotional damage at the very least. Um, so as you as you bite down, you're going to see that he does have kind of like a leather a leather protector on that's going to like, your teeth are going to rake against and he's going to dance back out of and be like, oh, fucking bitch. And um, Chas, it's your turn. Yeah, that whole choking thing didn't work very well. Um... So instead, and I'm I'm kind of pissed off now because I've my my honor has been slandered multiple times, and it's like really Joe, um, and so okay, so there's the one that Evelyn killed, and then is the other one still up? The, one the no, the beat? Joe just dropped him to to death. Um, now there are two more that ran around the corner. One of which is like it looks like a large hound master, uh, and another uh -huh. one right behind him that looks like a guard from the front gate, uh, who is running with yeah. a pike. Yeah, this is terrible. Um, I'm gonna go try and hide in the bushes. We're gonna we're gonna try to be like just dive into behind some foliage and hide. Okay. All right, so go ahead and make me a dex and stealth roll. Okay. Uh, difficulty? Uh, difficulty of six. Oh, thank goodness. One success. A one success. All right, you're going to kind of duck inside of a bit of the hedge and are going to, um, uh, to hunker down and watch. Okay, uh, the other guard is going to round the corner, see what is going on, and... What the hell? 
uh, and is going to uh, charge at Evelyn and Josephine. Josephine has a sword drawn. Evelyn is just a random woman. Uh, so, uh, Joe, he's going to come at you. Uh, and uh, uh, that is... You can make me a melee roll to try to defend yourself as he comes at you with a pike. Um, so, uh, Joe, one of the, the, the pike guard is going to charge you with his pike. Uh, you may use melee or athletics to get out of the way. I will use melee. Always parry a... Always parry a pike. And, okay, that's not very many successes. Neither is that. That is a fail. Oh, no! Uh, so, that is going to be strength plus six successes. <laughs> in damage Ooh. all right so he is going to rush you and he is going to oof oh shit well he doesn't have a strength specialty uh so that is going to be five points of lethal damage uh as he rushes you and is going to bring down the axe blade of his pike kind of right into your shoulder uh causing you to like sag and your blade kind of slip down to your side um, um, to repeat you from earlier, mon dieu! <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, Josephine, it is your turn. What would you like to do? Record my damage first. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, that's real gross. Pikes are not jokes. They are not. Uh, okay. It's, this is really slow to record on here, but I've got to get it down before I forget. There we go. You said five, right? I said five. Cool. Okay. So, um, and did he hit, he hit me on my sword arm, right? He hit you like right in your shoulder, sword shoulder. Your sword shoulder. Yeah. Which but... is going to account for the, the penalties. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> I, oh man, I'm being so cliche here and I love it. Um, I'm going to look at him and be like, Good thing I'm not right-handed. Flip to my left hand and stab him. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Make me a dex and uh, a dex and melee roll, uh, and he is going to attempt to uh, to parry out of the way. Can you parry with your axe in my shoulder? <laughs> He's going to attempt to dodge out of the way at minus one dice. Okay. Cool. Uh, um, I'm spending willpower. <laughs> okay, good. That's probably is a good idea. All right, I have my successes. Actually, I'm spending willpower to ignore wound penalties. Okay, that sounds better. Yeah. That is three successes. Three successes. All okay. Uh, that is one success more than I got. So go ahead and uh, make me a dexterity. I probably don't make me dexterity. Uh, make me a strength plus two uh, roll for your damage. That is three successes. Oh no, okay. So he is solidly stabbed by you uh, and he's going to like, with it, <laughs> pull the pike out of your shoulder oh. and uh, uh, it is the huntsman's turn. Uh, the hunts, the houndsman, I keep saying huntsman because I wrote it down so blurry. Uh, the houndsman is going to freak out and draw a cudgel uh, from his belt and try to brain Darcy. Uh, Darcy, you can make me a dex and athletics roll to try to get out of the way, or a dex and brawl roll. So if I'm using athletics, I'm using the dog, and I'm using brawl, I'm using my brawl. You are using your physical st stats, and you're using all of your abilities, your skills, your abilities, your knowledge. The dog's physical stats. Yes, yeah, so you're using the dog's attributes. Okay. But everything else comes from Darcy. Okay. So your athletics, your brawl. Okay. Okay. Uh, I will use athletics. To try to dodge? All right, give it to me. That. Difficulty yep. six. 
yep, 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 yep. Uh, two successes. Boy, my dice are need a cleansing. How many did you get? Two. Two? Okay. Uh, roll me stamina, please. Okay. Um. Dog has... Don't worry about it. I failed my damage roll. Three psych... I, okay. failed, I okay. failed my damage roll. Uh, <laughs> I rolled ones. Uh, so he is going to kind of catch you upside the head, uh, but you are a thick-skulled mongrel. And it's going to kind of just like bounce off of that like like seamed skull of yours uh, without any damage. Uh, and Evelyn, it's your turn. Okay. So you have uh, thrown your knife, but that doesn't mean that you still don't have your sword. There is also uh, two dead guardsmen on the ground with their weapons. Mm-hmm. And it's just the one dude left, I think. It is. There's two. There's one that's fighting Darcy the Hound and one pikeman that's fighting Josephine, and Josephine is very badly injured. Okay. Blood is drenching the front of her outfit. Okay. Um, what sort of weapons do the guardsmen have? Uh, so the one that is fighting Josephine has a pike, and the one, the the other the one- The dead ones. Uh, the, sorry, dead ones? the dead sorry, ones, sorry, pardon me. Uh, they each have a, they have a musket on their belt, and they have uh, rapiers. Okay. I think I am going to just grab one of their rapiers, so I'm not going to waste mine. And I'm going to try to... I think I want to try and do something kind of fancy to bind up the pike head and kind of shove it to the side. Are we near a wall or a stairwell you, at all? You are right next, you're basically in a hedge maze, like a little hedgerow. Is there a little bench then? A little stone bench behind yeah, us? Yeah, that makes sense. Like that. There Sweet. is also, like there's also try... a sword that's stuck in a bust of Kiefer Sutherland. Well, what I'd like to try and do is just some sort of bullshit to push the pike aside and try and break it on the bench. So that the half breaks. Okay. Like you like using good timing, calculation, etc. to get exactly the weakest point and break it. Like the best leverage point. Okay. Are you using entropy for this or are you just trying to break it yourself? I will happily use entropy for this. Sure. So go ahead. What I, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make two separate rolls. So we're gonna use <laughs> um, you kind of using your physicality to just knock the pike. Uh, as your contact roll, and if it succeeds, then your magic will work. So, first of all, um, what I'd like you to do is make me a dex and melee or brawl. Whichever you think you'd be, if you'd be using your weapon, then it'd be melee. If you're using your, your foot, then it'd be brawl. I think I was going to try and use my weapon to try and, like, direct it into the right spot to hit. Okay, so dex and melee, please. Okay. And sorry, what was the difficulty? Uh, difficulty on that would be uh, difficulty seven. Okay, uh, that is three successes. Though. Three successes. Okay, roll me, uh, roll me your air tech, please. Difficulty of uh, difficulty of six. Okay. Well, that's one success. Okay, uh, that is going to be enough to snap the haft of the pike uh, against the bench. It's going to crack and shatter uh, as you drive the rapier up against it, smashing it against the bench. And Darcy, it is your turn as the dog. Okay, dog C is going to... Um... I, would, I would say that he has bent down to try to hit you. Yeah. Um, I would like to try and, like, knock him over and bite his throat. Okay. So why don't you make me a dexterity and brawl roll? Okay. Uh, go ahead and just make it a difficulty, make it a difficulty six if you're just trying to do, like, a general pounce and bite. Yeah. Pounce and bite. 
Oh, there's my dice. Um, jeez, you need an exorcism. Uh, that's four successes. Okay, go ahead and roll me uh, your bite plus two. Okay. He's going to try to dodge out of the way, but it's not going to do particularly well. Do tens don't re-roll on damage, a dog, right? a dog should have strength four. A mastiff should. Um, it does. Yeah, so a dog will have bite yeah. strength bonus for sure. Oh, sweet. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. Well, I don't think anyone's going to argue that a mastiff has has a strength specialty on bite. Six successes. Okay. Um, you're going to pounce and tear <laughs> into him. Would you like to describe how you remove his throat from his body? Yeah, I think so. He had bent down to gra to try and cudgel uh, Darcy in the head. So he's like leaning forward. She's just going to um, like curl her haunches and then just <sighs> pounce out, pause first, lean down on the ground and then just go <laughs> with her her mouth um on onto his throat and just buries it deep and then she comes up with like a bloody <laughs> bloody maw because uh she knows that this is a an illusion so she does not nest or like some sort of th dream craziness so she does not feel as 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 bad about just brutally murdering people. So she's just kind of like, we gotta get through this. Um, Absolutely. Although I will say that in spite of that, um, there is a there is a surprising amount of blood taste in your mouth. It sure feels real. And there are levels and complexities to this blood that you have never tasted before. Though I will point out that Darcy might remember that last time it was real people were illusion over them. Fair, you're right. And then Darcy wasn't there for that conversation in in our notes about how Amy or Chaston sends life magic on them. So, but yeah, so Darcy actually probably does not think about that. Probably not. Uh, you're yeah. too have you're too you're having too much feral fun. Yeah, woof woof. Okay, uh, and chastity. Uh, it is your turn. There is the one man remaining. Uh, he is quite wounded uh, from Josephine's onslaught. His pike has been broken, and he is right next to you. What do you do? You are oh, hiding. Oh, brilliant! Can I tie him up? I want to ask him where the dungeons are, where the prisoner is. Okay. Um, you can definitely try. Um, how would you tie him yeah, up? Yeah, I'm gonna spend a willpower. Um, I gonna use a length of of. There's either, if there's not rope hanging around, then she's probably got something like a belt or something that she can use to. Okay, sure. This is going to be weird, but let's do it. Uh, make it's me. Gonna be weird. Make me uh, Dex and Brawl, please. Uh, at a difficulty of you have a successful hide roll. Uh, so. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Give it to me. A difficulty. Difficulty of a little complex. We'll say six. With the with difficulty the difficulty. Of six. Yeah. Dex and Brawl, and I'm spending willpower. Um, alternatively. No, I already rolled. Well, do you have more athletics or more vice? Vice is one dot higher. You may roll one more dice then, because that's what you okay. know to how to tie people up with. Um, what's the other thing I have here? I also have torture. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. I haven't bought dots in that yet. <laughs> Not yet. You shibari Soon. them. <laughs> Just shibari. All right, that's an additional success for three successes. Uh, four with the willpower. Okay, so um, you know what? We're going to say that your character would have a whip. Or, you sure, know what? Yeah. The, so normally she has a riding crop, but in this setting, maybe she's got... Maybe, you know what? Maybe the Houndmaster had a whip. Uh, yes, perfect. Let's and grab that. You, so you can rush over there, grab the whip. You now have a whip. Um, and you may whip and and tie this man up. Uh, dropping him to his uh, to his knees where he is bound um, and will have to escape in order to do anything else. Uh, he is going to try to struggle against you as he is now bound. Uh, can you do me a favor and make me a strength plus three roll? Difficulty of six. 
strength plus three roll? Yeah. What does that mean? Roll strength plus three dice. Okay. And he's going to struggle against you with wound penalties to try to get out. On his turn. Yeah, best of luck there, dude. <laughs> it's a difficulty yeah. of six? Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, it's four successes. Yeah, I got one. So he's going to kind of struggle. And g -g 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 -g, let me out! And he's going to kind of fall flat on his face, and you're going to hear this crunch as he breaks his nose. No! Monty! All right. Uh, Joe, it's your turn. Or do you say anything, Chastity, when you do this? Surrender, and you might live. Uh, I surrender. Uh. Um, Josephine is going to... Uh, he's on the ground, right? Yes, he is tied nose. up on yeah. the ground, blood streaming from his nose. Cool. Um, she is going to put or uh, hoist a boot onto his back and put her sword at his throat and just go, tell us where the prisoners are. Uh, there is only one prisoner. Uh, he is in the dungeon over on the western side next to the tower. I knew it was a dungeon. Uh, it was next to a tower, but yes. <laughs> oh, please do not something. sick your horrid bitch against me. Wow. Wow, that's rude. But it is a female dog. I know. Oh, you meant that literally. Um, yes, of course. Right. It just killed... my soul. <laughs> well, then... Don't raise the alarm, and we won't sicker on you. Hmm. So? Uh, I swear. Be a good boy. I swear to God. And stay quiet. We'll, um, just, uh, we'll let you go. We'll leave you here, and you'll be fine. Josephine's going to cut some cloth from one of the other dead guards. It's probably going to be soaked in blood, and she doesn't care. Mm -hmm. She's going to ball it up, and she's going to shove it in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Stay. Mm. <laughs> Everyone's gonna pat him. <laughs> Boy. All right. Is is there a pasta? Or like not pasta? I guess there there's murder guards. There are murder right? guards. There's one that was murdered by Evelyn so well that there's very little blood on his outfit. All right. Darcy's going to grab that guard with her teeth and like just pull him slightly away, and then Darcy's going to uh, drop her um, form and become Darcy again. Okay. So you are going to shapeshift back in yourself and put on, um, he was a very slender guard. The outfit's going to fit surprisingly well. Almost like, well, I mean, movies don't exist at this point, but we all know what, how it's going to work. Mm -hmm. Um. So then she'll come out and be like, oh, well then wipe some blood off of her mouth. I, I know where the guard is. Um, he's just over, over by that tower over to the west. Guard? So. I don't think I'll ever get used to that. Uh, yes. Well, I can confirm he's in the dungeon, so. Which is next to the tower. That's rescue. And Josephine's going to head off because she has no impulse control right now. Evelyn's going to go find her dagger and pull it out of the ground and okay. steal a couple more off the guards. Yeah, Darcy's going to get swords and, what, and whatnot, so she has some sort of weapons. All right, gathering up that equipment. Uh, you rush around the side of the building and uh, will be able to make your way back to where Darcy had marked the spot. And sure enough, there you're going to see in the old stonework this recessed little... Um, little cell. Uh, now, the bars are very strong, although rusted, and um, it's barely large enough for, well, maybe one of you could squeeze through, a slender woman. But you will see that there is the dim form of a, of a man laying on the ground.
What do you do? Uh, get up. <laughs> Just look. So, how do we get in? You could. Did anyone check Does anyone have anything keys? to rust through the. Oh, keys. Are there any sort of keys on Darcy? <laughs> there are not. Jess is going to run back to the other bodies and is going to uh, root around for some keys. There are no keys on the external guards. That They would not have any keys to the dungeon. Yeah, that makes sense. But. All right, Darcy's going to try and. <sighs> yeah. Darcy will try and uh, uh, Darcy will like try and boost her her strength, give her juice a little bit. Okay. How do you do this? Roid up. Uh, so Darcy's going to uh, spend a willpower to push through this, um, and I think she's just going to take some of the extra blood on her face, and she's going to just start chanting in in old Irish and she's just gonna do some marks on her 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 muscles and her arms to try and boost up her Okay. Boost up her uh, Alright, well spend me strength. a willpower and make me an Arate roll uh, at difficulty of six, please. Okay. Um and... would I, I don't know if this is a musketeer's thing, so if sure, it's not, that's fine. Could I pull bobby pins out of my hair and try to pick a lock so there are no lo like... there are no locks on the bars so if you went inside okay, of the yeah. cells there is a door to this room that you could pick. Oh, okay but yeah. you guys are like outside of the castle like looking through basically like the cellar window at this oh yeah i must have missed that but okay cool um evelyn so you're watching darcy kind of like cover herself with blood is there anything you're doing Now, she's kind of looking. I think she's just looking to see if there looks like that. There's a specific weak point that she could point out to Darcy of like go for there. Okay, so Something go ahead. Like that, or if we go for the door. Um, so you'll have to go inside of the castle and down into the dungeon to use the door. Okay, so we want to do it this way in particular. So if you're trying to go through the outside, it's going to be a bit more difficult. But um, you can go ahead and make me an arete roll to locate disorder and weakness. Sure. Okay. Uh, so, Darcy, that is going to raise your strength by two for one round. Yep. Uh, All she will... needs. Okay, it'll also give you a, I'm assuming, like, powerful arms as a specialty. Yep. Yeah, because that brings her to four, so she will have, she'll take, like, strong arms. Okay. So, Evelyn, go ahead and give me that a difficulty of four, please. Uh, three successes. Three successes. Okay, uh, Darcy, I want you to do me a favor, and what you're going to do mm -hmm. is you're going to make a strength and stamina roll. Okay. This is a weird roll, but it's one of the only two attribute rolls that are in Old World of Darkness, and it's for lifting or bending things. Uh, you All are right. going to be at uh, a difficulty of... Okay, so they're strong bars. So I was going to say mm -hmm. you're going to be at a difficulty of nine to bend them. But because mm -hmm. of locate disorder and weakness, we're going to drop that down to a six for this roll. And every yeah. you're not going to need to roll damage. Every success you roll is going to be direct damage on the bars. Okay. Okay. So uh, strength and stamina, difficulty six. And you can spend willpower yeah. on this if you want. Yeah, I'll spend a willpower on that. You know, I was, uh, the reason why I was going with the, the outside strength things, yeah, they looked a bit rusty, so I was like, ooh, they might be a little weaker to bend, so. Oh. My god. Good god? No, I rolled three ones. In my pool. So. It's not a botch, but it's a fail because I rolled three ones, two nines, and two threes. So that's a fail for Darcy. My okay. dice are just on fire tonight. So with your surging <laughs> muscles, uh, you are going to reach down, grab onto the bars, and they're just, they're, they're solid. They're solid. This thing was reinforced to hold the, the rebels in a century ago, and it still is holding strong now. You can't get a good purchase. And... Yeah, you try your best, but just cannot. 
even with Evelyn's guidance. Uh, Chastity and Josephine, as this is happening, Chas, you're going to run back having not found any keys. What do you two do? So wait, wait, we left you alone for like no time at all, and now what are you doing? I'm trying to rip it out of the wall. Um, that seems okay. That's certainly an option. So... Perhaps we should try from the other side. Yeah, See if we can get uh, in. let's go take a look. Okay. Do you head inside of the castle or the chateau? Question. Yes. How deep down from this window is like the floor? Uh, about, about 10 feet. Okay. And it goes into a cell? It goes into a cell. Do the bars on the cell, is the cell barred or just doored? It is doored. Okay. Uh, so Chastity in our private chat is asking something very, uh, yes, uh, prime is, uh, so a prime imbued weapon cuts through anything like butter. Okay. It does so... aggravated damage to things. Um, so as you are winding up, what do you do? Hmm. I have no quintessence, but how much? What would it take for me to pull some from my pattern? One bashing and imbue damage. A whip. One bashing, and then imbue my whips and sanctify it with my the prime. Yep. And then whip open the bars. All right, give me Arate difficulty six to do that. Okay, I'm gonna spend willpower. Okay, so I, spent, so I spent a willpower, and then I have a six, a seven, and a one. So I believe that ends up being two successes. With two the successes one is one. going to mean that that whip is imbued with aggravated damage for the scene. Mm. If you want to try to whip through the bars, go ahead and just make me a, uh, a dex and melee roll. All right, we're going to do that. What's the difficulty for that? Difficulty six, just basically difficulty five. They're stationary. You know what? I'm gonna spend another willpower because I've been I've been hoarding that this game. Sounds good. That's gonna be four successes. Oh god. All right. So, uh, reaching back, you're going to lash the whip forward, and it is going to smash through the bars. Um, let's see how well it does. Go ahead and roll me strength plus one, two, three, four, five. Uh, strength plus five. Difficulty six. A strength and plus five more dice. Yep. Thunder crackles overhead. And difficulty of six. Difficulty of six. This is mostly for flavor. It's an ag imbued whip, and this is a stationary metal object. Four successes. Holy crap. Okay, so all of you are going to see Chastity like run her hand along a length of whip, leap back and smash it out. The whip is going to glow with quintessential energy, and there is going to be a cacophonous almost a thunder crack of its own as the whip smashes through the bars cleaving them asunder you women like are the craziest I've ever you women are the craziest I've ever run with let's get them <laughs> alright uh, anybody who wants to slide inside of the bars may cool. absolutely done Done. Darcy's is going to keep a watch out for yes. um, people coming sounds good um, it is going to explode, and anybody who wishes to head inside can slide through the bars, dropping down into the cell beneath you. All right, so Darcy, you're going to wait outside. And uh, Joe, Joe, you're headed inside? Oh, yeah. Okay. Zero impulse control. <laughs> All right. So, heading inside... 
Joe, you're going to slide down, leading, leaving this huge swath of blood behind you as you head into the cell. Chastity, you're headed in as well? Okay. And Evelyn, are you headed in? Yes. Um, do we have any rope lying around or anything like that? Uh, you do not, although Josephine might. Josephine, do you have any rope? Do I have rope? Probably. This is... You you know what? Sure. You have a small amount of rope. Cool. So my thought is just getting it on the edge of one of these bars so that we can get back out if need be. Okay. So. Slide. Firmly. Okay. With that, you'll be able to slide down inside of the cell. They're lying in this fecund... Fecund? Is that the right word? Fecund? This... This disgusting cell. There's no bed to speak of, just a pile of rotted hay. A bucket in the corner for filth is a man who is bound in a jacket, his arms tied around his throat. He's bolted to the ground by his by his throat and a length of chain that attaches to a well to a rusted iron mask. You can see no features. Just a large lock at the back of his spine. What do you do? Um, the, uh, da, da, da. we're just supposed to get him out of here, right? Um, mm -hmm. I feel like we should pull the mask off first to see what we're dealing with before we do anything else to unrestrain him. Mm. That is a wise decision. Just in case it's a trap. Um, and, uh, I think with, um, with, like, the pommel of her rapier rather than her hand, mm -hmm. she's gonna reach out and, like, see if she can just tip the mask up off his face. So it's, it's actually bolted on, like, welded with a seam down the side. Oh, yeah, so we'd have to fully unlock it and You'd stuff? You'd have to fully unlock it, yeah. Anyone good with picking locks? Like, Maybe I can, can do something with it. And Jazz is going to go over with her imbued whip and is going to try and see if she can, like, yank it or something. Sure. Okay. She has You're... no idea how this part works. Um, you could whip definitely... crack the lock off. You could try to, Basically, yeah. yeah. Give me a dex and well, roll. If, if wrapping and, like, pulling doesn't work, like, with the prime in um, it, it, then it, yeah, it she'll should. try and You should be it. able to use it as a blunt object as well as a whip. Yeah, so she's going to try that first if okay. she doesn't do as much risk of, of injuring um, just, the person. What I'd like you to do is just make me a strength plus two roll. What was my difficulty for that? that difficulty for that is six. six. Yeah. Okay. Then two successes. Okay. Um, you are going to lean down with a loop of the whip. You're going to snap it against the lock, and it's going to fall on the ground in a pair of just broken bits of steel. Outside, Darcy, the clouds gather, thunder crackles and rain begins to fall around you. And you'll hear a voice, all of you, surrounded by metal. <laughs> it's weak. It's battered. You should not have come. The man in the mask says. <gasps> you should have left me here. But we are here to rescue you. And I think, because Chas is like right next yep. to him, she's going to try and pull, like, carefully help remove the mask now that it's unlocked. And 
as you do, it's going to peel away grossly from where it is stuck to the flesh beneath. And as you pull it away, you will see curly, matted black hair. Bruised and raw brown skin. And as you pull the mask away, you will see the bruised, emaciated, starved and beaten face of Dr. Freeman. Oh, fuck. Do you know this person? Vivian. He looks up at you. Fuck. I'm sorry. I didn't... I didn't mean to... You shouldn't have come for me. No, 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 it's okay. We're, we'll, we'll get you out of here. Okay, we'll get out. Just... And he looks up at you. And I'd like everyone to do me a favor and make me an Arate roll, please. Jen, do yours a difficulty seven. Yep. <laughs> Ooh. Do I still get my four successes? You do, the... but that effect is going to end after this round. After this round. <laughs> so, okay. Kelly, it's only when you have a specialty in the Arate roll that it, it yes, does. Yes, you do not have a specialty in resisting quiet. Okay. Oh, damn, chastity. Okay, so do tens re roll on yes. this? Okay, because. And, uh, Josephine, you're difficulty seven for this. Yeah. Six successes, five. You failed? Okay, that is very fitting. Okay, um, Evelyn has six, Chastity has five, Darcy has three. Evelyn has seven. Oh, seven, pardon me. As you look... Oh, this is five. As you look down and see Dr. Freeman... The pretender, the heretic, the sound of screaming voices, the sound of boots on locked doors in Paris, the sound of running, the sound of fear. and the sound of condescension. This is for the best. He needs treatment. He needs to be fixed. It will echo through your minds. And you will remember the events that brought you to the asylum in the first place which we'll cover next time on Mage the Ascension, the Victorian Age. All right, Evelyn's ready to kill some bitches. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So, so having failed my hair day roll. Yes, you are. Um, so uh, next episode is going to be a flashback episode that's going to take place when you got to Paris. Perfect. Um, Kelly, did you say, I forgot you said who, uh, if three passed or failed. Three passed, yeah. I only got one success. Oh, nice. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for us tonight, folks, a slightly quicker game, uh, to get into the next one. Um, so, uh, I did want to, like I said, there are some things in this chapter that are fairly disturbing. Um, uh, and, uh, please mind yourself and your, your comfort level for this. But, um, I, I love what these characters represent here and what they're trying to do. So definitely uh go and uh and uh fuck them up please uh right. in the meanwhile take five experience points Woo. and uh next episode NXP, we are going NXP, to hop NXP. back xp uh we're gonna hop back in time and uh get where we got 
So, uh, thank you so um, much. You did say that I could access Entropy 1 after we were out of this part. Can I do that in the flashback? Yeah. or? Yes, you may. Cool. All right. So, hey, folks, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this episode and uh, and that this has been a lot of fun. Do you guys have fun with, uh, with the swashbuckling portion of this? Yeah. Yes. It was so, a lot of fun. My dice were a little angry at me apparently so you know i got to be so ridiculous it was great. oh that was so great <laughs> i'm not looking Honestly, I, I think my wig, like, but i like being in the i like being kept in the quiet more almost because you just get to go full hog go into the trope it's great yeah like i i felt more on tonight than i did last time <laughs> just because it's like oh yeah, yeah like, mm -hmm. just go for it yeah <laughs> yeah i definitely appreciate the shorter shorter game though tonight yep absolutely so folks um we are uncovering the mystery we are finally getting into it um did you guys like that reveal yes, yes that was like ooh, like ready is a to strong murder. word can you, <laughs> you so, like to murder yeah. So at the same point, um, you can see why before this as we I think you guys are starting to get at least half the plot at this point and why you would go into this place. And I think mm -hmm. I think the story is fairly fairly succinct at this point where we're kind of going with this. But are, you kind of see why I was like, oh, I'm really nervous about this plot. Because <laughs> yeah, it's really I can see why you were nervous. Right? Because I'm like, well, oh god, is, think... is this my story to tell? And I'm like, well, I, I mean, think it's at this be... point, Evelyn mm -hmm. is ready to have an anatomy lesson. Oh. The person on the other end is not going to enjoy it, mm. but they are going to advance her learning. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I feel help. like I'm going to end up having to take some more science so I can have some specialties in anatomy and chemistry after this. Nice. And I need to increase my number, my points in medicine clearly. So Yeah. Oh, and I have that well I I actually hadn't forgotten I forgot to fill it in, but I had paid for it last game that I do have one dot in torture. Okay, there we go. Definitely be higher. There we go. Uh, Should that definitely sounds, make that a higher. That sounds pretty great. Uh, all right, so folks, that is going to be it for us tonight. Thank you so much for tuning in for this shorter but still very eventful episode of Mage, the Ascension of the Victorian Age. Um, I had this entire thing inside of the castle figured out, and then he blew through the wall. So, hey, that works, too. Um, that is also very useful. And you know, this is just a lesson. Never assume that Mage players are going to do what you think they're going to do. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. If you want to support the channel directly, you can go to our sponsor, Bookworm Games, and use code DORKTALES to save 10%, and also check out their quest chest at questchest.info. You can also support the stream directly by going and either subscribing here uh, inside of Twitch. Uh, please sub if you're watching on YouTube and enjoying the show, because I'd love to see the subscriber numbers go up. But also, uh, you can join our Patreon, where you get an additional six games a month, usually. Uh, on average, it's about six games a month, uh, in, on top of which you you also get behind the scenes podcasts, a really hilarious D&D podcast that we have recorded, as well as uh, at higher levels, you're going to get some modules and stuff like that. Um, you can join the likes of our wonderful patrons, such as my divine producer, my mom, uh, which... Uh, uh, she's never going to watch this, but hi, Mom. How's it going? Uh, our demonic producer, Precarious, who is just such a swell guy, and you can watch him run for some of the Dork Tales team uh, every Friday night. You can also thank our... Prince, or pardon me, not Prince of the Patreon, or Wizards of the Patreon, uh, Tammy the Forever Cleric, who is an amazing person, as well as the Ink Goblet, who had a little bit of a hand in writing Mage the Victorian Age, as well as Eddie Isaacs, who is a new wizard. Congratulations. As well as our High Council of the Patreon, which of course is Taryn, Buddy, Amberthist, Cubby Gummy, Raven with Bobbles, Karasha Urquhart, Chef Eladeth, LaRook, Sorcerer Sanguine, Mike Baxter, and Kaylin Whitebeard. You are all amazing. I love you all so much. Thank you for helping keep the lights on here because running these games is a full-time gig, actually. So uh, be sure to stick around and watch more later. And we'll be back very soon. Um, we have a bunch of big events coming up, so I will be posting in our Discord when the next Mage game is going to be because uh, uh, in two weeks, uh, Robin, you have a bachelorette party for your sister, so you are going to be away that weekend. So we'll have to figure out when our next game of Mage is, but we're at a really good place for a mid-chapter or a mid-season break. Well, so, well, are are we not doing the 29th? Is oh, that yeah, that's we are doing the, the question? We are yes, doing we're the... doing the 29th. Yeah. I can't do the next weekend. That's is the right. Thing. That's so, right. and I can't I do the weekend after talk... that. And then it's extra life. And then it's yeah. yeah. And, yes. and August is messed up. August is judges. messed up. 
<laughs> but we'll let you know. We'll let you know very soon. So check our Discord and follow us on social media to stay on top of when our games are. Uh, and I think with that, let's call it there. Good night, everybody.